Hello, people of this world, and I, your host, Thomas Kenna, hereby welcome you to this crash course on the signs of scuba diving. Today, I'll be quickly going over how to breathe underwater, how to prevent yourself from sinking, also known as buoyancy, how various pieces of scuba equipment, such as the tank, the regulator, and the dive computer, really work. Every breath you take uses two liters of air. Your scuba tank contains only 11. However, those 11 are pressurized to 200 atmospheres, which is 200 times the norm, resulting in 2,200 liters of air, or enough air to last you an hour. However, trying to breathe this air would explode your lungs, much like a balloon with too much air in it. Now, how do we get around this? There's only one way. In order to prevent your lungs from turning to a meatball sauce, you use a two-stage regulator. The first stage is mounted on the scuba tank itself, reducing the 200 atmospheres to 15. The second stage reduces those 15 to the pressure of the water around you. Let's take a look at how that works. So, how do you swim underwater without either floating to the surface or sinking to the bottom of the sea? The answer is quite simple, really. Scuba divers use a, dip, use a jacket called a BCD, or buoyancy control device, which has integrated lead weights and little pockets of fabric that'll, la, that can be filled with air to increase buoyancy. If you strike the right balance, you'll have neutral buoyancy, resulting in complete weightlessness. At this stage, a diver can then control whether he's going up or down with the simple state of his breathing. For example, if I were to do this, I'd start floating upwards, while if I did this, I'd start sinking. This is actually a method used by NASA to train astronauts to go to space. Yeah, you heard me. When you dive and breathe underwater, nitrogen gathers in your bloodstream as well as tissue. If you stay too deep, too long, or go up too fast, this nitrogen gets released, like the bubbles in Coca-Cola. While this might be a nice thing in a soda, in the human body it can become lethal. This is why there is such a thing as a dive computer. The dive computer, by monitoring the pressure exerted on it by surrounding water and the temperature. It can give, give you facts such as how long you've been diving, how long you can stay at that at where you are without getting decompression sickness. Last, the most important function of a dive computer is to give you a warning before your flesh turns to a bubbling mess as you get onto the boat. We've gone over the theory. Let's get to the practice. Keep that rig in and get them down. 